The route covers two and a half miles downtown. Steve Shamras takes us on a tour. Steve. Carol, we are at the intermodal station tonight. This is the southern end of the streetcar line. And as we followed the proposed route to the north, we found a lot of people did not realize they were standing at a future stop. But they were glad to learn that. Our first stop is one of the hottest corners in Milwaukee. And there's a lot of great restaurants here. What else is good about this corner? That place? Yes, the public market is special, but the corner of St. Paul and Broadway will soon have a new attraction as depicted here. One of the first stops on Milwaukee's streetcar line. Perfect for <laughs> Eastside residents Matt Bain and Samantha Panella. If it brings me to this corner, and if it's more consistent, then yes, I would definitely use it. A little further up the line, the streetcar will stop at Cathedral Square in the midst of office buildings, restaurants, and bars, which is where we found someone clearly in the loop. The streetcar goes by and you can get some pasta over there. <laughs> that's, that's all you need to know. Brendan Staling's been looking forward to this day. A regular commuter from the east side, he knows this will make life easier. It would take me longer to walk in the freezing cold to get to my office than it would take to drive from my parking space. So if I had the streetcar, I would just pop on and go to my office. The end of the line is Ogden and Franklin, a dense residential area on the path of UWM student Alan Delangian. But it, it'll be nice because it'll allow, it'll be faster transportation. Like I'm sitting here waiting about 15 minutes for the bus in the cold, but if the streetcars are here, maybe it can pick me up and get me there a little bit quicker. The first bit of ground could be broken by the end of this year. The first passengers could be on board by 2017. Live in downtown Milwaukee tonight, Steve Shamras, today's TMJ4. Steve, thank you very much.